Let's take a look what's happening weather wise. We are in for a big warm up later this week, but a couple more days of pretty comfortable temperatures today. We're a little below average for most inland parts of the Bay Area back to near average temperatures tomorrow and Wednesday, but the heat dome over the desert southwest is going to be strengthening, building a little bit closer to us, and we are going to have hot conditions inland beginning already Thursday and Friday, but the really hot weather settles in for the Labor Day weekend. Inland, we're not going to lose that onshore influence of so temperatures by the water. While they are going to warm up, they're not going to be, I don't think, anywhere close to record setting territory. Probably won't even have any advisories issued for the areas around the bay and along the coast. Air quality is going to be something we have to monitor throughout the week. It's a mix of green and yellow dots on the map. The, the ones that are malfunctioning are easy to pick out because those kind of stand out in the brighter colors but mostly good to moderate air quality today. And at worst, I think we're going to see moderate air quality through the rest of this week and probably into the weekend as well. Some of the smoke from the fires in Northern California and Oregon has been drifting down towards us. A lot of it's elevated in the atmosphere, just enough at ground level to send us into the moderate category, but at least we're staying out of those unhealthy categories through the rest of this week. Looking outside, you can see the haze on the horizon from San Jose, where the temperature stayed short of 80 degrees today. Once again, 79 in San Jose for an official high. Got up to 87 degrees in Livermore, but that's a couple degrees below normal. 67 degrees in San Francisco, and it did manage to climb to 64 degrees in Pacifica. Current temperatures, mostly 60s around the water and 70s farther inland, except inland in the East Bay, where you're still in the low to mid 80s. But in late August, that's fine. If you're below 90 degrees, yeah, you'll take that. It's not going to be the case later this week. The fog is going to spread into the inland valleys to begin the day Tuesday. It won't last long there, backing up to around the bay by mid to late morning and all the way to the coast as we head towards lunchtime. Full sunshine for the rest of the day with temperatures returning to near average levels. Mid to upper 50s to around 60 to begin the day on Tuesday. Those high temperatures are everybody's going to be within a degree or two of what's normal for this time of year on either side of average. Some places a little above, some places a little below. Let's zoom in for a closer look. Low to mid 60s along the coast. A mix of upper 70s and low 80s down the peninsula and around the south end of the bay with mostly low 80s in the Santa Clara Valley. A few of the warmer spots getting into the mid to upper 80s. Mid to upper 80s for the Tri-Valley with temperatures far inland in the East Bay reaching up to or above 90 degrees. But when those are the hot spots, yeah, we're doing okay in late August. Upper 60s in San Francisco, a mix of upper 60s and low to mid 70s for Oakland and the East Bay and mostly low to mid 80s inland in the North Bay. Warmer than today but close to normally warm for this time of year and close to normally hot as you go farther north towards inland Mendocino County and Lake County. Without that marine influence, your temperatures are going to be back into the 90s. Temperatures are going to warm up significantly by Thursday and Friday. Those inland spots are going to top out in the upper 90s for the end of the work week, but then the heat really builds. The peak heat is going to be in the usual spots, inland in the East Bay, but plenty of spots in the North Bay are going to eclipse 100 degrees as well. Triple digit heat for all three days of the Labor Day weekend. That's why we have the excessive heat watch that's already in effect. But we've got a few more days to go between now and then before that heat arrives. And it's not going to be that hot in San Francisco and Oakland. If you live near the water, it's going to be warmer, but the heat is going to really settle into those inland parts of the Bay Area, well into the 90s in San Jose over the weekend. And the North Bay and inland to the East Bay, we're talking about 100 plus degree high temperatures. Some of those usual hot spots on Sunday approaching 110 degrees. That is hot for the unofficial end of summer. Liz?